So, mining. Normally, especially on the Terran planet, what people do is build some sort of aircraft. A bunch of thrusters, a bunch of drill heads, fly around and ram into the soil. But, that costs a lot of energy. Pistons are far more efficient that way, and this is the basic rig you normally get. A bunch of pistons up, that way it allows you to put a lot more pistons down once you extend these. Lateral pistons so you can extend maybe even a um, rotor so you could spin it around and find the spot you want to mine, mine a bigger area. And this works really quite well. It uh, is very efficient on parts and it does what you need. You probably have more than enough uh, uh, materials once you get it started. But it's kind of boring. I don't honestly like it too much. It seems... I don't know, very spindly, and I just don't like it. So, despite its advantages of being uh, very, very efficient, I prefer something more complicated. It's often seen in the distance. That's my uh, my new rig. It's crazy. I model it something like off of a CNC machine. You have one rail going left and right here as you see, and an entire section just runs along that. But instead of just using rotors or wheels to power it along, the uh, problem with that of course is then it's unpowered unless you put a battery on it, and there's nowhere for minerals to go when you mine through it unless you constantly pipe it through something. And that's what I've actually done. From the upper part of the rig, I have a big pipeline going here, right to the pistons, heads onto a pipeline leading to my containers. And what this does is it actually crawls along. It uses the pistons to drag itself onward, detaching the rotors, attaching again, pulling again, and that's, it works actually really, really well. Of course, if you detach both of them at the same time, you run out of power, because this doesn't have its own independent power support, power source. So what you do is, once you have it brought inwards, detach one, reach, attach, detach the other, reach, attach, pull forward again, and that moves it along. The top section here works very similarly. It just attaches, reaches, or pulls out a little help along, detaches, reaches again, and so on. And even further, the drill rig itself, the actual drill rig, not just the carriage, works exactly the same way. I was trying to solve the problem of expanding drill rigs. You see, with the old system, once you reach the maximum extent, that's all there is. You can't easily expand it. What you have to do is grind off your drill heads, attach more pipe or more uh, pistons, then build those again. That kind of sucks. I would rather just have it be able to build on one end only and just constantly moving it down. Now normally you don't have to drill, drill very deeply and even here I'm not going very deep. The iron is only eh, a few levels deep. Not that bad. Other minerals, yeah, they're deeper, and you can just plan for that by building a big enough piston rig. But again, I just went a little crazy here. Over-engineered, and a little scary, but it works. And I use the same principle. I have this long-ass pipeline here, and a couple arms. I didn't use rotors this time. Rotors cause things to explode. The reason being is that a rotor with a rotor head attached is more than one block in, uh, in size. It's just a little bit bigger. So you can adjust your um, rotor length there, but it's, it's not exact. It causes things to snap together, and space engineers being the game that it is, things explode. You don't want that. So instead, I ended up using hinges. Hinges are exactly 
one block in size, no bigger, no smaller. Well, at least along the relevant axis. And the snapping is minimal, if there at all. And uh, while my previous attempt with the rotors caused the thing to explode very violently, very depressingly, thank you for quick saving or for saving and loading, this is perfectly stable. And as you can see, what I do is I just um, detach one side, lift or lower, the other side, one side goes down, the other side goes up, attach again, and then continue on. So a little demonstration. So first off, make sure everything's attached. Then I want to go uh, down, of course, yeah. I'll detach the left-hand side since it's already down. Reverse my pistons, and they'll start moving. Should be able to speed this up a bit. Nope, wrong way. There we go. Right side goes down with the uh, drill rig, with the pipeline and the drill heads. Other side goes up. Unfortunately, there's no collision between the hinge parts and the hinge themselves. And I should have reached the bottom. Oh. Yeah, I guess I moved it already or something. There it goes. That's probably a little too fast now, but it seems to be not exploding. There, down all the way again. And what I can do now, attach everything, detach one side and continue on. Or I could lift it up again. In this case, of course, detach the left side reverse the pistons, they go up, turn that off, doesn't need me on, and up it goes. Now, right now this is mostly manually done. I don't have any set of timing blocks or a uh, programmable, programmable block controlling this. I could do either, it's just a lot of work, I just wanted to get it actually working first. But if we go to this, the uh, carriage, the upper part of the carriage at least, which the rig is actually attached to, this works similarly. Now, I haven't got my controls optimized properly, so... Okay, it doesn't explode. That's good. Yeah, the pistons call to roll. And the wheels are there mainly to take any of the load in case the pistons joints decide to bend at all. So far, it's not exploding. So I'm very happy. Now, one thing with this, of course, is you do have to do some planning. I set this up to be at the extent of this mineral patch, marked, of course, by the discoloration in the soil. And it's not terribly expandable laterally like that. I can't really do anything to make it any bigger, given that I do have already a piston on this side, so I'm limited there. But of course, this is a very, very large area. And even once, of course, I get through all the iron, through all this area, I can still just drill stone. And as you can see, I can go very deep. I can go. I'm not sure how deep I could go. I've never tried to uh, see how far I can get it going, even in creative mode. But along the length here, of course, I can keep on expanding it. I just have to build, of course, more rotor heads along the way here. Or I could even just delete ones further back to save on materials. But I'm getting a lot of materials, of course, through all this mining. And just build the rails further and further and further as far as I want. It's a great system, I think. I really do like it. It's more reasonable to use this to go very far in your mining than 
a piston rig. You can, of course, just... What was that? Whatever. Oh, it's probably finished moving. I don't know. Anyways, you probably could just attach everything to a rover. But the problem, of course, is you're making holes in the ground and rovers need to drive on something. You make a set of rails, of course, and you drive the rover on it. But what if we want to turn around all of a sudden? Then you're screwed. Make a ramp, I guess, go down, come up on the other set of... No, just no. This is crazy, but it kind of works. And I really do like it.